Iron Banner is back for the first time after the release of Forsaken, and it is the weekly reset, so we're going to go over what is available, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, and welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, before we actually get into Weekly Reset and Iron Banner, if you guys would like a chance to win a Destiny 2 Forsaken annual pass for any platform of your choosing, then go ahead and go to the description below, because there will be a Gleam link in the description for you to enter the contest. So, it is the Weekly Reset, and let's go ahead with the Milestones first, or as they are called now, Challenges. And we are going to go start with the Traveler. We have... Uh, Ikora, which is a weekly challenge, which we need to complete 20 uh, bounties of any type. Then we have the wonderful uh, weekly clan bounties, which you need to earn 5,000 XP. Next, we have the wonderful in the Vanguard. We have your daily, which you need to complete three daily missions. Then we have your strikes, which you need to complete three strikes. And then we have your nightfall which you need to complete the uh, Nightfall once, as well as reach 100,000 points. Now, if I am correct, the strikes are by themselves. However, the Nightfall does change. The Nightfall we have Inside Terminus, Exodus Crash, as well as Sabathun Song. Next, we have Gambit which you need to complete three Gambit matches in order to get powerful gear and ask for Crucible. Now, we do have the daily Crucible matches as well as the weekly, and we need to complete one daily and five weekly, but we also do have uh, Iron Banner included in that. So, yes, Iron Banner is back, and we will go ahead and look over Lord Saladin's stuff, so that is pretty good. Uh, going to the Tangled Shore, we have Flashpoint, which is at the Tangled Shore this week, which is pretty interesting, which you need to complete activities on the Tangled Shore. And this includes public events, lost sectors, as well as heroic adventures. And last but not least, at the Dreaming City, we have Petra, who has actually changed her position to this wonderful, uh... The Valley in Mists area. Uh, and you need to complete three weekly bounties for her. So for this week, I figured we would start with Lord Saladin first before we go to Eververse. So let's go ahead and see what he has. It's time to draw, so he does have new bounties um, for the Iron Banner. So go ahead and pick those up. As well as new event rewards. And you need to complete certain bounties um, in order to actually get these. Which is pretty interesting. Um, weapons, we have the Talons of the Eagle, which is a scout rifle with high impact frame. It also comes with corkscrew rifling, polygon rifling, accurized rounds, extended mag, outlaw, as well as moving target. And this also comes with a masterwork of reload speed. And the second weapon is the Swarm of the Raven, which comes with aggressive frame, volatile launch, uh, confined launch, High Explosive Ordnance, High Velocity Rounds, Snapshot Sights, Quick Draw, as well as um, Masterwork of Blast Radius. So definitely go ahead and grind these out. I am going to go ahead and buy these now because my clan is actually waiting on me to actually do Iron Banner with. Don't forget to visit Tess Evers in order to find out what she has this week at the Eververse. Always good to see you, Guardian. So, we have your wonderful bounties, like always. However, let's go ahead and check what we have in the Prismatic Matrix. We have the Cleans Up Good which Ornament, which is for the Darcy. Then we have the Warrior's Steed, which is a speeder. Actually looks pretty badass. Then we have Helmets, Dragonfly Regalia Mask, obviously can't see because of the hood. Then we have Dragonfly Regalia Gauntlets, and I'm guessing the same goes for each uh, class. 
Actually, I take that back. No, these are for Titans. And then we have the Dragonfly Regalia robes for the Warlock. Unfortunately, I, I'm not going on with those characters. Then we have the Chevron Shell. Comes with random rolls. Then we have the uh, Subatomic Ivory, which is a weapon ornament for the main ingredient. Then we have Impolite Company, which is a nice little uh, legendary ship. Looks pretty cool. Then we have the uh, Jubilee Protano, or Pronto, sorry. <laughs> I apologize. And last but not least, we have Rev It Up Emote. As for the second page, we have the Potential Dance emote. I happen to actually love this emote because it's fun to use, especially in uh, Gambit. Then we have the Shiver emote. Then we have the Thermal Runaway uh, speeder. As well as the Ridge Runner Rex. This is also a speeder. Nice little reskin. For the ship, we have that wonderful thing I am not going to pronounce. <laughs> and then we have another ship called the Andromeda Gleaming. Nice little reskin. Ghost, we have the Skewed Orbit Shell. And it comes with random rolls. Then we have the uh, Soros Projection. Oh my god. We have the Turbo Kickers for these Stompies. Sorry. I apologize. I'm going to go ahead and buy these. Because I have the Bright Dust for it. And it pretty much just uh, makes your legs look all uh, mechanized and stuff. And I like that. Because I definitely wanted these for my Hunter. Coming down here, we have the Lethal System for the uh, Hard Light. Nice cool little ornament. Then we have the Black Plague. And this is for the Rat King. Then we have your Silver Beam effects. As well as your Dominus Gall effects. Then we have your Molten Bronze Shader, as well as the Vest Poison Shimmer, and then we have your Boons. So, we are here at Petrovenge, and once you come into the Dreaming City, she's literally right in front of you. And as for her pursuits, she has the Oracle Engine, the War for the Dreaming City, Ascendant Challenge, Gateway Between Worlds, uh, Audience with the Queen, as well as her regular bounties. And then we have your consumables from which you can actually use at the blind well. And then raid banners, uh, two different ways to get those. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.